Well, you know, arriving here in, from Brazil in 1975 was kind of weird, you know. What do you do, you know, an Asian kid from Brazil, what do you do in Orange County? Well, guess what? Everybody surfs. So somehow you find your way down to the beach. That's where everybody hangs out in the summers. So we kind of said, hey, what does everybody want to do? Everybody's talking about things that you can eat after you surf, fish tacos, plate lunches from Hawaii. So we thought, hey, maybe we can kind of borrow and steal everybody's recipe and come up with a place that we can serve some great grub after you surf. And that's how Wahoos was started back in 88. I happened to get a finance degree and understanding about return on investment. Also understanding minimizing your risk. Because I figure if I had a dollar and another guy had a dollar, we would have two together. Instead of me having to come up with two, I started leveraging my resources with my friends' resources. And this turned out that most of these surf companies became world brands. So by piggybacking on their success and my success, we all grew. Fast forward, 2011, we're over 60 stores, four states, we're on college campuses, UCI, USC, Cal State Bakersfield, we're almost over 2,000 employees. So what started out as this little taco stand in Costa Mesa has actually grown into a pretty nice business and I get to teach at Concordia and share my experience with all the students in the MBA school. One of the ways that I think Concordia's MBA program is different than all the other programs out there is the fact that I'm able to bring in real companies where we can really dive deep into how they do business and figure out how to better do something. So I teach the kids on how to use your network, your assets, and really getting them to get out of their ordinary book and see how the real world works. One of the things that I try to bring to the students is my network. CEOs from Quicksilver, Billabong, guys from Vizio, guys from Zappos, Gamers First, Yogurland. Basically, I'm gonna bring you companies that are current, top of mind, that are having issues growing, even though they're two to three billion dollar companies. They're still having growing pains, believe it or not. So you're gonna get access to some great companies and hopefully get a job out of all this. Yogurland, a company that in less than three years has gone from zero to over 100 stores. One of the great things about working with Yogurland last semester was the idea that the students were in charge of how to drive traffic to the store. Everybody wants more traffic. How to get people to buy more yogurt while they're there. Maybe what kind of new flavors, interior design, signage, all the different programs that what they should be doing to increase their business. I stay in touch with my students and I let them know that for as long as you, you know, and I are around, feel free to contact me. I'm always going to be a great sounding board advice. Whatever I can do, I'm always going to give you my best thinking. You may not like it, but I'm always going to be around to follow you. So my hope is that one day the students that I have today are going to be sitting right here and telling the next generation this is how it's done.